Hey, what's up everyone? William here with AR15.com. So today we're gonna test a prototype body armor plate that is uh, gonna be going after a level four NIJ rating. So you're looking at some 30 odd six M2 armor piercing ammunition here and an M1 Garand to fire it out of. And um, what we're gonna do is try and test a, a hybrid steel slash ceramic uh, body armor plate. So I'm kind of prefacing this a little bit because I'm gonna show you this contraption now and it's gonna look a little strange to you. Um, basically i've got some marks on there we got the plate in a plate carrier i got some marks on there to aim at uh you know to try and get six evenly spaced hits and um one of the things that the company this is from tactical scorpion gear that makes this plate and one of the things that the company wanted me to do was to build a much more rigid uh base a much more rigid gizmo to hook the plate to you guys know a lot of times i'll just clamp the plate to a block and just let it rip or uh, maybe we'll put it on a punching bag or whatever but they actually asked me to use wood behind it and try and hold it like really uh you know in place so i tried to be a little crafty and just use uh you know stuff that i had laying around so i just strapped this uh well i used a couple of ratchet straps to go through the plate carrier to this pretty heavy piece of wood and i just strapped that to a milk crate and threw some uh, weights in there so hopefully this will keep it from moving around too much and then you guys can kind of see the plate is really up against Against this board right here uh, this whole thing may shatter and blow apart the first time I hit it it's very awe-inspiring the last time that I tested one of these we actually did this before with a plate that had a thicker steel core and it was pretty heavy it was almost unrealistically heavy it was like 10 maybe a little bit over 10 pounds um, now that he's made the core uh, the steel part behind it thinner so before it was basically a ceramic layer on top of a level 3 you know quarter inch plate which you know will stop 308 and you know some 556 five, rounds but it was just really heavy uh unreal un i think unrealistically heavy so now the core is thinner um wouldn't stop 308 probably on its own but it's got the ceramic in front so it, it lightened the plate up a lot i think this one is closer to about eight or nine pounds i haven't gotten the official final weight on it yet but um you know we're gonna go ahead and test this prototype and then uh kind of see how it goes i already did it with a thicker steel core on on my channel on the wound channel and it stopped five of these rounds five 30 odd six m2 armor piercing rounds and the only reason that the sixth one went through is because um the, the ceramic was all shattered up and the place that i clamped it broke that part of the ceramic so i didn't i didn't actually have like you see these white dots i didn't have six good places to shoot it um but it still it stopped five and for the nij test you only have to stop one so i am very curious to see if this thing uh, can do it so let's get the contraption set up on the table load up the m1 garand clip don't get to say that too often. We'll load up the M1 Garand and then we'll just take some shots and see if this thing can hold up to the, uh, I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, the, the GoPro footage kind of explains it better than I can. That, those rounds hit really hard. So uh, let's get it set up and take some shots. So I'm not even going to pretend like my shot placement was on point because it was unfortunately not. <clears throat> However, um, let's see what happened. This may not be the easiest to get back out considering I strapped crap out of it. Honestly, shooting uh, at plates in a plate carrier makes it a lot harder, especially because you can't see where the first shot you took ended up. So it makes it harder to adjust. We definitely had some go through. I do remember that one of the first ones I shot was right here. So I'm curious to know. Oh wow, yeah, that's very interesting. 
You can see where that one's actually stuck in the wood. Wow. That's pretty amazing. So a couple of them that went through, went through, like, look, there's the tip. A couple of them that went through, because I noticed, like, when we pulled this out, it looked like it was trashed, but the back of the thing is fine, like the back of this thing. So several of them that went through did not go through the wood, but they did go through the plate, which means that it's got to be uh, pretty much right on the edge. That's kind of amazing. I've never had that happen before in a test. You know, I would have thought that if it went through the plate, it would have blown right through this uh, big piece of wood. Looks like we had two that made it through the wood, but... I don't know, four or five of them made it through the plate. It's pretty interesting. A little bit better look at the back of the plate. You can see this is the metal, not nearly as thick as a level three plate would be. All right, so this is pretty interesting. I cut down the side of this and the bottom of it, and you can see all this pulverized, uh, like ceramic down there. But um, kind of a look at the tiled pattern on the inside of the plate. There's a example of one of the hexagon shaped ceramic tiles. You can sort of see the steel plate a little bit better and see what's really going on. Because like I said, this thing is a complete mess and it makes it very, very difficult to really tell whether it was stopping the rounds or not. All right, so here's kind of a better look at the inside ceramic layer. It's pretty, it's pretty much glued to the fabric pretty well. See that strike face there? It's glued on pretty well. Here's a closer look at the back of that ceramic stuff. And this is easily the most difficult to post-mortem uh, test that I've ever done. Very confusing and it's kind of uh, weird, you know, how the plate behaved. But so this is probably one of the most telling shots. So that one you can see, it obviously smashed through the ceramic, hit the plate hard enough to break it, to break a very big piece of it out. Dented it in pretty deep, but did not go through. Now maybe some of it kind of squeaked through that little seam there in the middle, but that one didn't punch through. And then we have other examples like this one, and this one for sure, where the bullet did cut through. And at least one of them passed all the way through. I mean, I saw pieces down inside of the milk crate, so it definitely went all the way through. So definitely not gonna stop six shots. So to me, it looks like it stopped about three of them. I know that it stopped this one because we can see that. I know that it stopped this one because that was the first shot and we can see that too. Um, one of these, I think the first one of these was probably stopped. And then the second one is the one that smashed through the plate. And then looks like two over here both went through though, because up on this part of the wood, uh, higher up on the wood, there's two holes in the back of the wood. So both of those went through. So I think they're pretty close on this. I think the construction and the craftsmanship of the plate is actually very good. Um, and you look at how many of those tiles are still there in place. And obviously having the tile pattern helps a lot. But you look at how much of that's still in place and everything, and um, and really how overall how well the plate held up, you know, that that's pretty damn good, especially for the types of rounds that we were putting into it. I do think that the core may be just a little bit too thin. I'll try and zoom in here a little bit so you guys can see how thin it is. Um, I don't know that this kind of arrangement is gonna work without the full size uh, level three type of core, because it just seems like, you know, the I don't think the back face would be too bad if you were just doing one shot, but what's gonna happen is even when you hit it like this on a very fresh spot, it caves this big part in and it puts these cracks. This hard steel is so brittle. It's gonna crack like a lot even just from one hit that it stops. And then when the next one comes over and then now you've got a compromised plate, you start to run into trouble. So I think that the the, the core and the full size one and the, and the full weight one that we did before, it just had little tiny marks on it. I mean, the one that punched through at the end punched through because the ceramic was gone, but the ones that it stopped, it looked like it was hit with a th just a 308 ball round. I mean, it just, it just stopped them. So I don't know, maybe if you just wanted to do a one shot, you'd probably be okay. I think this arrangement would work to pass the NIJ test with one round, which I don't know, maybe that's what they're gonna go for. But if you wanted to have a true multi-hit, like a five, four, five, six shot level four plate in, in like with this kind of construction, I think you would want the full weight, um, uh, you know, steel core in there. You know, I, I take responsibility for the shots not being perfectly placed out, but I do think we still learned some good info here. And it is a little bit more difficult to shoot plates that are in a carrier because, I mean, I tried to put those marks on the outside. Not that I really hit them that well. I tried to put those marks on the outside, but, you know, it still kind of makes it tough because, you know, you don't always hit precisely, you know, where the mark is, and then you kind of want to keep the shots spaced out and... Yeah, it makes it kind of hard to do. So anyhow, 
Um, if you guys have any questions about the plate, I'll put a link in the description to Tactical Scorpion Gear. You can go check out their website to see all the different types of armor and steel targets and other level four plates that they already have certified, you know, that they offer. And then um, just stay tuned for more updates on this. We'll do some more testing. I'll let you guys kind of know what comes of it. I don't know if they're gonna go with a thicker uh, core and just deal with the weight, or if they're gonna go to this and try and get maybe just a one or two hit rating or something like that. Drop any questions that you have in the comments. And I just wanna say thanks for joining us here on ARFCOM. This is William signing off.